Weep fantasy, slice, slice. Sushi wa totomo ii desu. Watashi wa no fedora ga doshi wa. Get ready for karate. Come on. Ah, uh, yeah. Ghost of Tsushima was the breakout hit of the late summer, easily overshadowing Last of Us 2, which is not hard to do. Fall Guys just killed Last of Us 2. Get woke, get pushed off the seesaw challenge, scrub. Ghost of Tsushima follows the story of Jin. I'm pretty sure he's a fictional character from what I gather about this time period in Japan. But so what? This is a spiritual successor to the original Assassin's Creed games and Tenchu Stealth Assassins. I'm not saying the game is God's gift to the world. I think people overhyped it because of the bad taste that Last of Us 2 left in their mouths. See this, Neil? This is how you make a game. No political bull. Just plain fun. You butt knocker. Voice acting. Ego watashi wa skinny wa nai. Totemo. Sunai Community Guideline Ni Haitsta The story seems alright to me, and that's probably because I was detached from the world. I didn't play it all in one setting. Well at one time I, you know, play an hour or two here, come back like a day or three later and play again. So I didn't get the full effect of it, maybe. Most people probably really connected by playing this game hours on end and really immersing themselves into the world. Speaking of the world, the world Sucker Punch built is amazing and beautiful. It's truly a compliment when a Japanese game developer says to the effect of, I'm paraphrasing here, a Japanese game company should have made this. Not to mention the fact this game also upset Twitter Puritans, which I'm all for. I mean, how are you going to sit there and talk about cultural appropriation and colonialism? Shut up. It's a game, you hack. I'm playing a woodwind instrument. I'm Japanese. Good lord. Talk about people that don't want you to have a monochrome of fun. God forbid I get to live out my weeb fantasies for five whole minutes without some social justice warrior telling me how it's problematic. Hopefully this game will get an overhaul on PlayStation 5, and I mean a full texture overhaul. Not just like, oh, it's 60 FPS, whoopee. And a port to PC so we can really see this thing shine. Because the frame rate, I didn't like it. The combat is nothing special, honestly. It really isn't. The enemy AI is abysmal. A game with so much detail put into the world has brain-dead enemies. You can hide in bushes and easily escape or climb to something really high. And then the enemies are just like, he's vanished, he's gone. I take it back. The story is good. It's just there's so much to do, and if you're anything like me, you tend to wander off and try to find every little nook and cranny in the game. Which does lead to a slight disconnect from the main plot line and story, because you're so busy just wandering around looking for everything you can find. Also, in Act 2, aka the second island, uh, if you don't finish everything on the second island and you move to the third island, it becomes locked off to you for a little while. So, then if you're like me and you're trying to, like, unlock everything, that could be a real pain in the ass. The game is obviously taking cues from Kurosawa, one of the greatest directors of all time. The game is great cinematography for cutscenes and placement, atmosphere, etc. Shockingly, many people into Japanese culture in America, you know, weebs that go to like Naruto videos and whatnot, had no clue who Kurosawa even was, which was shameful. Listen, most of the movies you like are inspired by a Kurosawa. Star Wars plot was pretty much ripped off from two Kurosawa films. It just chaps my ass to see all these wankers showing up to every Japanese video in the comment sections of YouTube and saying, Ghost of Tsushima brought me here. Whoa! Like, ah, yes, you didn't have any interest in Japanese history till you played the Weeb Master game. Oh, God. Hello and welcome to Begin Japanology. I'm Peter Barakan. But I need to remember that most people aren't interested in anything outside of their own bubble unless a corporate overlord says, Buy this, you stinking plague. Give me your money. As I don't want to ruin the game for you, I didn't give any spoilers. 
but I think Ghost of Tsushima is going to be one of those landmark games to the PlayStation 4. And I wouldn't be shocked if it gets a sequel since the Mongols do invade Japan for a second time. But their main force was wiped out by a Tetsunami, putting an end to the invasions from the Mongol Empire. Well, Japanese pirates start invading mainland China and, you know, robbing and burning shit, but whatever. That's a story for another time. Also, seriously, you probably should play this game with the Japanese voice actors. They're so much better than the English voice actors. You know what makes no sense? English voice actor speaks English, but the Mongols still speak Chinese. <laughs> Whatever. Let's get out of here, Stu.